uploaded a PDF just a little while ago for our first block of the month. There will be a new block each month. This is our first one. This series of block of the month is going to be based on five patch designs. And this is what the PDF I uploaded. This is what you get when you download it. A colored version. Okay. And then I've also uploaded this one with just a grid on it for all the pieces. So if you want to play with with markers or colored pencils and design your own block, you can do that. And then here are the that doesn't look right. I grabbed the wrong paper. Anyway, it's right on the upload. I'll double check that before you print anything out. But it, it will actually have the proper size templates for this block right here. Here's the actual block. And I'm going to show you. It's really easy to make. And then here is actually the layout diagram for the pieces. Okay. So that's what our upload is tonight. I will look at that once I get off of here because this is not the right size. This is based on a four inch finished half square triangle and a four inch finished square. So I will make sure these are right. If you're going to use these paper templates to print out and cut, wait until I double check it to make sure the, what I uploaded to the group was the correct file. Okay, that being said, all you have to do is just lay out your pieces, and I do have um, a quilt block of the month kit with pre-cut pieces. I cut everything on AccuQuilt, as you can see here. And what's really great about that, <clears throat> I layered, I layered my triangles so that when I pull them off to piece, all I have to do is take off. I'm gonna get up and so we can be closer. All I have to do is peel off two layers and I have one of each color and they're already stacked and lined up. All you have to do is feed them through your machine. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's what we're going to be doing here in just a moment. But by all means, you do not have to buy the quilt kit or anything like that. Because some of you have a large, uh, probably have a large fabric stash at home. Most of us do. And by all means, get creative, make it your own. But if you'd like to have um, one of my kits, that's cool too. And <clears throat> these boutiques, this is the color range of the boutiques from kit to kit. The actual boutique pattern might vary, but it'll be the same, the same colorway throughout. So just wanted to get that out there as well. Okay. So we're going to get started, and you can do this on any sewing machine from the Accomplish, the Brilliant, the Jubilant, the Altair, the Destiny, the Solaris, any machine that will do a quarter inch seam, it's got you covered. <laughs> okay. When I'm not piecing on the, with the digital dual feed foot or a walking foot, this is my go-to quarter inch piecing foot right here. You see that? There we go. Has the edge guide on it. It's also got the little the little black presser, just like our J foot does. Okay. And what's great is <clears throat> on the end, if you line up your fabric to the inside of this foot right here, that's an eighth of an inch. If you line it up with the edge guide, it's a quarter inch. I love this foot. It's really wide, so it covers all your feed dogs, so your fabric really runs through there smoothly. Let me just get that attached. There we go. And what I was saying earlier with these half square triangles, when I cut this fabric on my Accu quilt, I layered it with the right sides together, and then I cut one run through the machine with the four inch finished half square triangle die will cut three units. Okay, so we'll cut six layers of fabric. And I am using the guide beam to line everything up. 
And I, whenever I'm piecing, regardless of which machine, check it out, I have, I always use a 1.8 millimeter stitch length. That way, I don't have to tie it off at each end. That's just one extra step that I can get rid of. And the cool thing about AccuQuilt and... <coughs> excuse me. The cool thing about AccuQuilt, <clears throat> especially the half square triangle dies, notice it cuts off the dog ears before you ever sew anything together. And when you open this up, you don't have any, look at that, look at the corners. There are no dog ears to trim off. Also with AccuQuilt, it cuts so precisely, you don't have to square it up. It's already square. Now here's a little time-saving gadget that I've run across. Check it out. It's called the Press and Fold. It's a little roller. It's pretty cool. But what it does, I can now lay this on the, my, the bed of my machine spread it out and just press it. It rolls right on that seam. And now I don't have to get up and run to the iron every time I set two pieces together. Once I get everything set together, I would then give it a final press at the ironing station. This foot that I'm using is this one right here, the quarter inch quilting foot with guide. And its item number is blso <laughs> QGF. <laughs> okay, I'm going to type that into the comments section. BLSO QGF. You set that to the side. <clears throat> and you saw how easy that was to do, right? So all I would do, I would pick up my stack of, and this, if you order my kit, this is how they're going to come to you. Super easy to do. Oops. Unless you drop them in your lap. And you know what? If they do become unstacked, it is super easy to actually put them back together. <laughs> you gotta love a live demo, right? So check it out. I'm gonna make sure the so there they are. And if you notice, with since the points have been cut off to line them up, you just line up right here like this. Hold on to it, and it will line up perfectly. Okay. The point right here, that's your needle entry. The point right down here is your needle exit. You get a perfect full quarter inch seam each and every time that you do this. Okay, and I'm using stitch, close that, stitch Q-01, that's my go-to stitch for piecing on our machines, whichever one you have. I'll just roll my little roll and press over it, and there we go, check it out. Pretty cool, right? Love this little tool. It's a lot of fun. So then all you have left to do once you get those pieced is to sew the squares onto them. Okay? For instance, I thought I had another gold square. They're up here behind me. But anyway, I'll do it this way. You'll get the idea. So <clears throat> I would just follow my diagram like I show showed you earlier. And just line up the, the, the squares to each other. Fold them over. And check out, when you line these up with those dog ears off, look how perfect that lines up in the corner. No muss, no fuss. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. A lot of fun, right? Pretty cool. So, I'm going <clears> to <throat> grab this. And I've already got... I've got two row of these rows pieced. So as you can see right here on this one, 
all right, there's the half square triangles. I would just sew that one there and just follow the color diagram to get this all set out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sew these two rows together and they go like this. See here, when that goes together like that, you can kind of see that's the beginning of the star. I'm not going to pin or anything. Because I've cut with AccuQuilt, it is so accurate. I just have that perfectly lined up and I'm going to get it started and leave my needle in the down position and then I'll reposition as I sew. Okay, so there, there that is. I'm going to move this around just a little bit. There we go. Now, <clears throat> all I'm going to do is butt these seams up together. I'm going to put my finger there and I'm going to just let it feed through. No pinning. No anything like that. I'm going to do the same thing here. Put those up together just to get them lined up. You could pin it together if you wanted to. Whatever method you that makes you happy and you like to use is what you should do. Okay. You see, I stop with the needle down right when I hit each seam line so I can line up the next one and just work my way right down. And there we go. There are those two rows set together. Now let's hold, let me hold my breath while I open it up and make sure those corners match good. Check it out. No pinning. Check it out. No pinning. Once again and once again. Woohoo. Now, let me get this other piece where three rows are already sewn together. And we'll finish setting this block. So just so you know, <clears throat> like the square that make, that's made by the two half square, um, right square triangles, half square triangles, <clears throat> those are called units. That square right here, that's called a unit. A five patch is five squares wide by five squares long. Depending on the size of the square is what size block you end up with. So for this one, I'm, this will actually come out to be a finished 20 inch by 20 inch block Boy, howdy, you can make them really fast and easy with this. Now, you can, if you want to follow along and do my block of the month, you can actually, <clears throat> you can actually just make enough of this one single block to set together to make one quilt out of, or you can add another one of the blocks each month to this one and make a, make a more looking like a sampler quilt. Okay, I'm using batiks simply because all batiks mix and match together very well. And get to that seam and we'll slow down. And we'll stop at this seam, line them up. One more seam. And make sure those two ends meet. And guess what, everybody? That first block of the month block is complete. Check it out.
I love the jewel tones of a batik fabric.